Hi friends, so today we are going on a huge grocery shop. I will be going to several different stores, including Sam's Club, that's where I'm going first. Actually, where I'm going first is Dollar Tree. That's not for grocery shopping, that's just because I want to. <laughs> and then we'll be going to Sam's Club. I'll share a little bit of that in-store shopping experience with you. If that's not your thing, I'll have bookmarks in place so you can skip ahead and just see the grocery haul. This is going to be a major restock grocery haul. This is not my typical twice a month grocery shop. This is going to be huge and I'm excited to share it with you. Let's get going. All of the things for 4th of July entertaining. This is where I like to get my tablecloths and my platters. There's hot dog holders and silverware and cups and little buckets to put your silverware in. All of the fun decor to decorate. Here is a happy 4th of July banner. These little fans are cute. My daughters would like these to fan themselves with while they watch fireworks. Party poppers, balloons, all of the fun 4th of July entertaining things. My daughter would like this for her fairy garden. I probably should consider getting that for her. All of the fun fairy garden things. I love these little houses. She would die. <laughs> she's always out there trying to make her fairy garden look beautiful and she's collected all the bits and bobs and I like to surprise her with different things on occasion. That purple house is pretty. Flowers, I think I might get some of those for her to plant next to her fairy garden. Here we go, Sam's Club. Let's see what they have today. This is making me itch to go back to Disney World again. If you haven't seen our Disney World playlist, I'll link that right here. It's so much fun to watch. I love these Disney suitcase sets. Some of my children need some new ones. These would be fabulous. I love the stitch. I always enjoy looking at the children's book section here. There's always so many fun activities, something to do other than watch TV. This one's super fun. I really like it. There's also some really good homeschooling things here if you look around. This is a great price for spaghetti. Fun Lucky Charms and marshmallows. Two big pouches. I don't know what you do with that, but I'm sure whatever it is, it'd be a lot of fun. Great price for a boy's Gap outfit that includes the shorts and the shirt for $15. Some really cute little girl outfits as well, little rompers for summer. Several different designs for a four-piece playwear set for $15. That's a really good price for two pairs of shorts and two shirts. They have boys and girls. Back to my itching for Disney and Alice in Wonderland cookbook. I love all things Disney and this is precious. I absolutely want this. Add this to my Christmas list, husband. <laughs> I absolutely love the Alice in Wonderland cookbook. Some homeschooling things. Everything you need to ace English. I'm not sure if this would be a daily thing, but it would be interesting to read through a page or two a day with your child. It looks like it has a little bit of everything very interesting if your child learns by reading. They can just read through some of these things. There's one for science, computer science, math, all the things. All right, this is the Sam's Club haul. And like I said, oh my goodness, so much money here. <laughs> all right, let's get at it. All the fun things. I bought these for my daughter, a little pair of lounge pants. They were a good price. They were, I believe, $7.98. They just looked comfortable and I could see her wearing those. So I got her those. And then I have just thrown these up here really quickly so I could show them to you. I bought these for my daughter as well. They just look like her. Um, I don't know. I feel like she likes wearing these kind of things and they're very trendy amongst her friends. <laughs> so I saw them and I thought of her. So we got those. All right. And then I picked up an insulated bag because I forgot to take any ice chests with me. And if you know, you know that we live at least an hour away from Sam's and these prices are from Texas Sam's Club, by the way. First, the pepperoni for that pizza pasta that my children love and sandwiches, some roasted turkey breast. And then I got this from me. I don't usually get things like this. However, I've wanted it for a while. I love Mexican food. Mexican food is my love language and this will last me several meals. So no one else here will really like that, but I love it. So that's for me. A big bag of blueberries to put on top of our oatmeal and to make pancakes with and even drop in the cereal. Really well priced for four pounds of blueberries. 
And then I'm also working on restocking those freezers, which I will share with you soon when I get them a little bit more pumped up than they are now. I went ahead and bought four packs of butter. We're not going through a lot of butter right now. We are using mostly the lard from our cows to cook with. So I don't use a lot of butter, but we do use it for toast, etc. So that will last us a long time. I have this big three pound thing of sour cream. Believe it or not, this will last my family gosh, hopefully two weeks, <laughs> maybe not. And then I love the spices and I love these spices and we don't have these three. So I was excited to get these. We are grilling a lot right now. And I saw this one, the prime steak with black garlic and truffle just sounded good. So I got that. I got the Japanese barbecue and the black cherry chipotle sounded really good to dress up those meats. I'm really trying to eat lean meats and veggies right now and be a little bit healthier and <laughs> summer grilling, like I said. So that, and then I saw the Kinder brand also had the chicken sauce, they call it. I wonder if this is anything like the Chick-fil-A sauce. I don't know, but I'm curious and I'm excited to see. And then I picked up some socks. We have a sock monster in my house and I don't know where all the socks go. So someone, me, my daughter, someone will need those socks. <laughs> so I got those and we love pink. It's our favorite color. So yay. And this is what's for dinner tonight. Since mama has been grocery shopping all day, I love this easy dinner. The roast chicken, you can't beat that price. And then my family loves the ciabatta rolls. So good, 448, they taste amazing. Split that open, put some roast chicken on it, piece of cheese, maybe some butter on your roll. Yummy, easy, simple dinner. So that's tonight, these were on a sale, but don't be fooled by those on sale prices. I was noticing some people just grabbing the things with a yellow tag that said sale, but whenever you look at those unit prices, you realize that the things that aren't on sale are actually cheaper. So always look at those unit prices when you're shopping at Sam's or Costco. Um, these weren't the best priced ones. However, they're really yummy ones and my family loves it. Easy peasy meal for us. Got those, got a big thing of meatballs. It is a six pound bag of meatballs. I will make all the good things out of that, whether it's to throw it in some spaghetti or put a good sauce on these and throw it over some rice. I know that you put them in a crock pot with some grape jam and it'll make something yummy, a little yummy hors d'oeuvre type thing. I got one sharp cheddar cheese. We actually have quite a bit of cheese right now, so I didn't want to buy too much. And they were out of mozzarella. I would have bought mozzarella had I saw it, but I grabbed two things of barbecue sauce to throw over some of that barbecue summer cooking, chicken legs, something like that, easy meal. Then I grabbed some cod fillets. These are kind of expensive, but my family really loves fish and chips. So, and we can easily go through two boxes of this in one meal, but one box, throw in some corn, throw in some French fries and maybe another veggie and that will be a good meal. And then I saw these and I was intrigued. Goat cheese bites, yay. I don't know, but I like it and I'm excited. So it sounds really good. I've never had them before. If you've had them before and they're good, let me know in the comments, but I will definitely let you know what I thought of these. If they're any good, I'll be buying them again. And then I got my bag of lemons because summer is for lemons around here. I decorate my house in lemons for the summer. So I had to have a fresh bag of lemons to throw in our tea and water. So there is the lemons. I got a big thing of coconut oil. We're gonna be doing some oil pooling on our tea to see if it improves our oral health. We will see. So we're gonna try that. And then over here, some easy peasy lunches. I got the mini pizza bagels. I actually recently did some freezer meals with pizza bagels where I made them myself, but these weren't a horrible price. And with 72 mini bagels, I can throw some sides with that for my children for a good lunch and it can make for an easy day for me, which I'm all about, yay. And then I got the oatmeal, just good to have on hand in our prepared pantry. And this was a really good price today. And then I got the chicken breast tenders. I've actually never bought this, but it was five pounds of chicken breast tenders and it looked good and maybe I was hungry. I don't know. So <laughs> I'm going to try that. I'm sure it's good. I got the trash bags. They were on sale today and we are running low. So good day to buy those. Got all of the salad packs. Everybody in my family loves salad except for my husband, but I've trained my children well. So <laughs> they will happily eat those and I love them. And then I got some collapse cheese for the husband. He will love those. And I went ahead and got some canned meat for our pantry. We were running very low on that. In fact, we don't have any chicken 
or tuna in my pantry right now, but now we do. So that is great. I got a thing of nacho cheese, um, summer nachos, children, very 4th of July fun. So I grabbed that. It's also a really good thing from a preparedness standpoint. That cheese will last a very long time. And in a pinch, my family needs cheese. The cheese is important to our diet. So <laughs> I have that and that is great. Um, the spaghetti, you'll find these big packs of pasta. I have another one. I'm not sure where it is at the moment. We'll cross it in a second. Oh, it's over there. Elbow pasta. So the pasta is such a good price at Sam's Club. This huge thing of six packs is awesome. I try to buy the cereals that are on sale whenever I shop Sam's or Costco and the Kellogg Special K strawberries was on sale today and my children like that one as well. Toast, Totino's pizza rolls. Again, easy peasy lunch. I never got this before either the black blackened chicken alfredo there's two trays in there i'm curious if i can pad that out to be two meals if i add some veggies or salad and bread to it i'm sure i can so my children are pretty little i have six of them 13 and under um i haven't reached all of those teenagers yet i'm sure one day i'll be buying five <laughs> but right now one still does it if i add some sides to it Okay, switching sides. Over here is the rest of that cereal. I had Fruity Pebbles, the Cheerios Cinnamon Oat Crunch, and Cocoa Pebbles. Again, those were the ones that were on sale, and I really do try to shop those sales. I got some Nilla wafers because they make my toddler's heart happy, and that is important to me. Then I got the corn, the green beans, and the peas, again, to prepare my pantry. If you guys remember during COVID, if you walked into a Costco or a Sam's, these were like gold. You could not find them for the longest time. So I like to just always have as many as possible in my pantry so that if the world ever crashes again, I don't have to go out in the middle of it. That is my plan. So, and then I got some beans. These are the best price I've seen. They're much cheaper than Walmart, at least here in my area in Texas. So I got one of those. My family loves Again, Mexican food, some burritos, good easy peasy lunch. I got some pancake mix. We were out of that and that will make my children happy. I got some waffles for an easy breakfast, some granola bars, a good thing to keep their mouths chewing during morning time. We are a homeschooling family as well, if this is your first time here. So we have morning time where we do a lot of reading together for anywhere from one to three hours. So if they have something to snack on, that helps, that helps us. And then I got the big thing of Colombian Supreme coffee beans. My Keurig K-cup machine just just died. It just stopped working. So no K-cups for me. I'm going to have to use the coffee pot. I'm a little bit sad about that. <laughs> I really want my K-cup machine back because I don't always want a whole pot of coffee. I actually really enjoy my one or two little cups of coffee in the morning, especially in the summer. Anyway, so I'll have to get that again. But for now, this was the best price one for me. And that's what we got. And then I got the Go-Gurt. This was on sale. Again, this isn't something I always buy. It's kind of one of those fun things and I knew my children would love it. So yeah, so we'll definitely throw those in the freezer and have a fun little summer snack. I got the organic quinoa and brown rice with garlic. My family loves this. So had to get that. Then you, we talked about the elbow macaroni. Great price, got that. Parchment paper, I was completely out. Definitely needed that. Some taquitos and some oatmeal. Again, for that prepared pantry, oatmeal is one of those things you should just always have. All right, <laughs> turning to the next section. I was completely out of chicken bouillon and very dangerously low on beef bouillon and taco seasoning. So every week we have our Taco Tuesday and I don't have to think about my menu on Tuesdays. So we go through that taco seasoning pretty quickly and I don't usually buy the cubes. However, I don't know, I saw them and I was like, how lovely sitting in my spice drawer. Um, by the way, this is my spice drawer currently, and I love it. If you are renovating your kitchen, get one of these. These are fab. I have another one over here, and I would do it again. Good choice. <laughs> so those will fit there nicely, and I got those. So we'll cook all the things with those. I got the styrofoam bowls because they were on sale. So today was a stocking up on styrofoam bowl day. And I got this for our bacon. My husband's a little bit disappointed. He wishes I would have got the restaurant box. It was on sale for $32 for 
Oh my goodness, a lot of bacon. But last time we got it, we didn't like it. But the first time we got the big restaurant box, we loved it. So I don't know, maybe I should have had it and got it. I was a little jaded from the last time. Maybe I'll go back and get it this week. So, but for now, I know that we love this and this is a lot of bacon for us. So we need our spring pig to grow out for the year so I don't have to go buy bacon. I got the Hatch Chili Monterey Jack Cheese Smoked Sausage. This will make my husband's heart happy. And by the way, excuse my nails, I have been in the garden doing all the gardening and they're horrible. They're absolutely horrible. <laughs> so, and um, I got a thing of sausage. This is the best priced chicken as far as chicken nugget type things um, per unit. Again, not on sale, but per unit, much cheaper than that. So if you're looking for what's cheapest, this is definitely it. I got this big thing of smoked sausage. My children love it when I slice it up and fry it in the frying pan and then serve it with eggs. They love that and that will last us a while. So that, I got one bag of chicken breast tenderloins. There was no thighs or breast today. This was all that they had, but that will do for now. And then I got some mini wontons, which we all love. A little bit of sriracha sauce and everyone just fights over it. So <laughs> that's a good meal for us. This ranch dressing and dip is cheaper than buying the two pack of ranch dressing. So my children really like this to dip their chicken in or their chicken nuggets, that's what we use it for. So since it's cheaper and being a large family of eight, we will definitely go through this in plenty of time before it expires. When does it expire? Um, January, 2024. Oh yes, no, definitely. <laughs> We're gonna go through that much quicker than that. Um, same thing with the big mayo. This is so much cheaper than buying those small bottles at Walmart per unit way cheaper. Okay, we are getting towards those 4th of July fun weekends, and this is the stuff that makes my family feel like they're celebrating the 4th of July. <laughs> so I have the very, very expensive tomahawk for my husband, $31.95. This is my husband's joy. And if you've been around a while and you've watched his birthday videos, you know that he often has a tomahawk in his cake because we make those steak cakes and I didn't do it this year. So I did a steak cake, but I didn't use a tomahawk. So I owe him one. He will be very happy when he sees that. I also got some brats and those good beef franks that they sell at the little place at the front where they sell the hot dogs that you can buy. This is what they are. Really good, easy dinner, very summery, big thing of hamburgers, some very patriotic tortilla chips. And there is my lonely little Sonic drink that I got for happy hour because it's been a long day. <laughs> my drink of choice was an unsweet tea with real strawberries and light ice, very yummy, I do recommend it. <laughs> and then I got a big thing of toilet paper. We were running low and I like to stay up on that. And then over here, the for real life a story collection because i'm already thinking of christmas can you believe that so i need to start thinking about it and then over here i picked up two shirts for my husband because he needed them so and i thought this looked very patriotic for the summer and short sleeve yay so he needed those guys that was a mouthful. I have so much more to share with you at the next grocery store, but I'm gonna take a quick break doing this in sections. I'm going to put all of this away before it melts. And then we are going to go to the next store. I can't wait to share with you everything I've found and how I have continued to stock up my prepared pantry and how I am stocking up those freezers. I I guess I can talk to you face to face, right? So I'm gonna get this put away and I am going to move on to the next door. So intermission, yay. <laughs> All right, now we're going to talk about Walmart, Aldi and Dollar Tree. And I have my little helper here. She helped me do all of the grocery shopping today. She was my fabulous little helper. And she wants to show you what she got on our shopping trip first. So we're gonna pop over here before we talk about the groceries. We got all the things today, didn't we, Miss Alyssa? Yes, I got a hairbrush. <laughs> you got a hairbrush? Got a little unicorn scissors. Those are from TJ Maxx. I got some new goggles. Unicorn goggles from TJ Maxx. And I got little, um... Our Dollar Tree unicorn, and what is that? Wormy! Wormy! We got Wormy. And I even got a bow. Ooh, and a squishy 4th of July ball. Cotton and candy. And a cup. And 
I'm cotton candy. We went a little bit thrifting as well. She found this cup at Goodwill. It's brand new and it was $1.99. We thought that was awesome. And I even got... You even got what? And she wants you to see that she also got her blue bottle for whenever we go out and do things. And then she got this dress thrifting. Can you show us what it looks like? She got this dress for summer from Goodwill. It was only $2.50, and Mommy thought it was cute, so we picked that up. She got a purple pair of pants. They were a good price as well, little jeans. All of the fun things. I think this is Mommy's favorite. I think that's awesome. And we had a fun Mommy Alyssum day, didn't we, baby? Yeah. Yay, we got ice cream, and we bought all the things. Okay, let's talk about this grocery shop. Okay, so... Let's start here. We got all of the water as per our usual. I needed more dish soap. So we got that, some paper plates to make my life easier. This is just a good thing to have on hand for laundry, gets the hard stains out. Plus, if you are one of these awesome people, you can make your own laundry soap out of it in a pinch. Really good little prepper type item in my opinion. Some ramen noodles for the hungry people. All of the bread, some Texas toast, because we try to have French toast once or twice a month. So that's what that's for. The big thing of ground beef, we definitely need to process a cow again, but in the meantime, I'm happy to have this. And then I picked up two things of meat. This is in the wrong section. <laughs> These are actually from Aldi. Aldi is better priced on their chicken right now than Walmart. $8.60 for the chicken thighs here and $10.76 for some chicken breast. Now back to Walmart. <laughs> I got the cheddar bratwurst for some fun summer grilling to add to that mix. Some whipped topping for probably these strawberries for my little ones. These were really well priced. These were actually from Aldi too. I am so unorganized at the moment. So those strawberries go right there. And then I got a frozen pizza for an easy lunch for the kiddos. Some bananas for the monkeys. This because you can never have too many gummies in my children's opinion. A wedge of Parmesan for my what's on the menu this coming week. A little thing of Italian sausage. I have all of the home cooked new meals coming this week. So I have some things that I don't typically buy. I'm gonna try out some new recipes. So that's what that's for. Biscuits, we try to have biscuits and gravy every now and then. It's my son's favorite breakfast. Two things of waffle fries. These are on sale right now at my Walmart. A thing of chopped spinach, corn, more corn. And then this time I got all of the diced tomatoes. Again, add back to those recipes I'm trying this week. They all had different kinds of tomatoes they needed. I do have all of these canned tomatoes up here, but sometimes it's easy just to have something like this ready to go and definitely something really good to have for my prepared pantry. So all of those have three pasta sauces for my pantry. We used some cream of chicken out of the pantry the past two weeks, so I'm gonna add that in. Some heavy whipping cream, and I always try to get at least one box of pasta or bag of pasta just to keep adding to that, and that, again, that prepared pantry. And then I have two bags of tortilla chips, a bag of Doritos, which is actually for a Dorito casserole I have coming up. A bag of potato chips, again, just for all of that summer grilling. Some pretzel sticks, and this is a Walmart fail. I got this bag already open, which is not, not okay. That, and then I got two things of egg muffins. We're going to be, or English muffins. We'll be having egg muffins on the menu this week. One little thing of gnocchi. We will be having that in an Italian pasta dish coming up this week. Three things of the unsalted salting crackers, the flour tortillas for some turkey pinwheels. I'm going to be making the children for lunch this week. A box of eggs, because even though our chickens are laying, we eat more than they lay. We need more chickens. <laughs> so we have that. And then over here, I've already shared with you Alyssa's fun things. And then this is the Aldi, at least what made it over here to the right section of Aldi. I have some hamburger buns, again, for that summer grilling. I think of queso. And then I have a thing of brownie mix and a devil's food cake because they're less than a dollar. And it's one of those things to add to my prepared pantry in a pinch. If you make some brownies or a chocolate cake, 
your children don't even notice that you're in a pinch. <laughs> so it's just one of those fun things to have in your pantry. I think every prepared pantry, especially if you have children, should have a little bit of fun sprinkled in it like that. And for less than $2, that is great. A thing of popcorn, because we like having our family movie nights on the weekend, and we're gonna add that to that. Some Pop-Tarts for, we have some early mornings around here where we will be going and having all of the summer fun, and it's just cheaper to feed all of my children and with a box of Pop-Tarts than it is to go through a drive through So we'll do that for something quick and easy. A little bit of organic maple spiced oatmeal, some cereal, some ice cream cones because it's ice cream season, avocados for some avocados on toast for breakfast one day, some oatmeal cookies for my baby. And then this is the Dollar Tree section, a little bit of fun here. Again, for our family movie nights, each kid got some kind of treat to eat. A little bit of fun sprinkled in there. And for a dollar, my toddler appreciates these kind of things. So we got that. Miss three-year-old got this little bottle. And then she still, she still uses bottles every now and then. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> She'll be grown up soon enough. And this made me think of my nine-year-old and just a little bit of fun. She loves this particular animal and I saw the gummies that matched it. Something to tuck away for a rainy day because sometimes it's those little things that make all of the difference. So I'll put that back for when she needs it. Okay guys, that is my Walmart, Aldi, Dollar Tree, ooh, and did you know Brahms has the best milk? <laughs> I got my milk from Brahms, so we can say Brahms too. And Brahms grocery part of this grocery haul. I almost forgot Walmart has these on clearance for $1.97, so I thought it was a good time to get those. And then I got this at Aldi because best ice cream ever, especially if you're a Texan. And I know that my children are going to appreciate that I got that. All right, guys. Until next time. Bye.